Hi guys, welcome back to Farm Up, and this is the farm where it all started. Yeah, crazy, I'm very excited. And right now, it has been turned. It's no longer the farm that you knew. It has become a construction site. And guess what? It's because we are doing renovation. So as you might know, I've offlaid my flock, you know, the flock. About 2,000 birds that were in this chicken house right here. The original, I would say. And um, we're going to be putting in birds, you know. I have a flock that's being brooded currently, about 2,700 birds and they need space in order to be reared. But the space where they are at the moment is certainly not enough. So this is going to be a rearing house. And as you might see, it's about well, four years since it was constructed. But from that time, I've learned a lot. It was the very first chicken house that I constructed. And that means that I made quite some mistakes. The floor at the top was not built the very best way. It wasn't very strong. It wasn't strong enough. So it, it needs repairs, you know, before we bring in the new flock going in at the moment. So as you can see, we have, you know, some um, aggregate over here. And we have sand over here. And we have quite an amount of work going on on the inside. So let me go inside and show you guys what we are doing to make sure that we prepare it for the flock that's going to be growing up inside here. So we'll take a quick walk. As you might see, this is our entrance. And um, it's, it's messed, you know. Uh, this, would, this is what would be the the entrance gate. It has 100% been messed, it's very spoiled. So this is also going to need to be repaired. Uh, this is timber, which was actually the floor of this chicken house. Um, then this is some of the poles that had been used. You know, they have become hard and uh, some of them are splitting. This is some of the timber again, which was inside. I believe right there we have a bit more timber. Over there, we have a bit more timber. Those are the laying boxes that were inside. And since it's going to become a rearing unit, we're not going to use laying boxes in there anymore. So these are going to need to be moved away from here, washed, disinfected, cleaned, and taken down to the bottom farm so that they can be used in the other chicken houses. So we're trying to connect some water because we're going to be mixing uh, concrete. This is what was a store for us. You know, this was a feed store, as you might see. We're storing some feed inside here. Right now, we've managed to build a proper store. Uh, even here, this was also a store for eggs. We still have limestone inside here, so we'll need to move this limestone also to the bottom of the farm so that all the feed mixing gets done over there. And then right here, let's move in. All right, so this is the place, guys. This is the place. And as you might see, uh, it's quite an amount of work. That's, that's being done, yeah? So this is the floor. I'll probably have to use the stairway right here. You know, climb on the stairway to get up. So I'll climb right here, go through here, and get to the top, okay? So this is our top. This is the floor of the chicken house that's being built. All right, guys. Okay, so now we're up. You can see it very properly. The previous one hadn't been built properly, so the timber would curve, you know. It would curve, and it would curve, and it wasn't flat enough, and so we had to keep trying to support it. And it's not that we didn't have the material, but it's simply because I didn't, I simply didn't know how to build a chicken house. I didn't know the proper way of supporting it to ensure that it's strong enough. But right now, I've, I believe with the time that I've spent on the planet uh, and the time that I've spent doing chickens, I've kind of figured out how to do it, yeah? I've figured out how to do it. So we're doing it quite well. Right now, I'm more certain that it's properly supported. You know, we've put quite some amount of timber here. But I'm more certain that it is supported. It is certainly going to be way stronger than it was before. So the only thing missing at the top here is timber, yeah? So we've tried to realign all the poles right here. Guys, it looks beautiful. This I'm more confident about, you know? If we had tried to place another flock inside here without replacing the floor in here, it would be a mess, yeah? This structure was going to collapse. And luckily enough, it didn't collapse on us on the previous flock. So right now, we are resupporting it to be able to handle, I don't know, maybe five, ten more years, hoping, yeah, that we get to that point. So, of course, this chicken house is not big enough 
for rearing 2,500 birds, you know. You need six birds per square meter. I've actually been able to master and do eight birds per square meter without getting any vices or any issues and maintain good, good production. And that's mainly because of having proper aeration, making sure that the birds have proper nutrition, so they're not lacking any nutrition that would cause them to you know, get, get vices and things like that. I've actually been able to master that, and right now I'm confident enough that I'm able to do it. But the problem is that um, this ch the chicken house is still quite small, you know? This can take up to 2,000 birds if you're doing eight birds per square meter. I'm going to have 2,500, well, I have 2,700 birds, so this house would never be enough. So what I'm going to do is that this is only going to be a rearing structure, guys. It's never going to be a production structure. The birds will stay in here maybe up to 16 weeks, yeah? Maybe 16 weeks. Before they get to 18 weeks, they're going to have to move to a bigger structure. So that means that I have a timeline to be able to construct the next chicken structure, which is going to be at the very bottom of the farm. So yeah, guys, I'm quite excited about this. I'm excited. The next step uh, is that the guys are going to pour a concrete down. So we're going to put timber at the bottom of this floor right here, and that will be the floor of the top floor, which is also the roof of the bottom floor. And then at the bottom right there, the guys are trying to mix some concrete, which are going to pour down here um, to be able to, you know, it's, it's going to be our flow, really, for the chicken house. It's going to be made from concrete. So I know that we're going the right direction. The chicken house is properly aerated, very, very properly aerated. We shall be using this place to do both brooding and, uh, and rearing. So from the time the birds are one day old to the point that the birds are about 16 weeks old, they'll be in here. Give them two weeks in the laying unit, they settle over there, and by 18 weeks, we should be expecting our very first egg. So guys, I'm very excited about the project. I know that we are making good progress. Tell me what you think in the comment section below, yeah? Uh, unfortunately, I won't be around to, you know, maybe not be around to witness the complete construction because I have to move around and supervise other projects. So by the time we get back to this point, it will be ready. We'll have our floor in here. We'll have our concrete at the bottom, but that will be before the birds are moved over here. So I should be able to show it to you guys then. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, smash the notification bell. Tell me what you think about what's going on here. And are you inspired, yeah? Are you ready to start just like I did? Lots of love. Catch you very soon with another video.